G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. Bit of a quick video for you here. The e-server is back up and running again. All fixed. Um, I'll get to that in a minute. PFSense has been reinstalled here on the firewall. I'm going to stick with PFSense. Quite frankly, for what I'm going to do, PFSense is far better than Sophos UTM. Um, and also I've completely locked it down, which means it's fully secured. Brilliant. Switch is working as always. Frame Manager has been brought back to life. There was a problem with it a few days ago. So I've fixed the Frame Manager. That's up and running. The e-server and the D240. I don't know why, but for some fucked up reason, it all got screwed up. I don't know whether I did it or whether it just had a shit fit. Basically what I've had to do is completely reset this thing back to factory default, which I've done. And I've had to reseat this, I've had to reseat this, and reseat the drives. So basically it's working now, ready to go. Now, over here, I've got an SSH session into OpenBSD, and then I've got a serial comm session, which I'll show you. I'll just get the mouse. Into the actual e-server itself. So, um, basically, I know I said I was going to run SSH to the... Uh, SSCs and that, but I, I'm going to be honest with you, I think I'm just going to stick with an, a serial comms uh, setup into the system service controller and I'll do SSH into OpenBSD. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Smoker's cough. Um, so basically it's ready to go. So from here, I now have to do DACP DNS, so to make it into the primary domain controller. Samba for the authentication for all my Windows PCs. And that'll sort out domain A. Now, domain C is going to become obviously the web domain. Um, I haven't got quite got to that yet. I need to get some spud trades for the 3100. Uh, sorry, the 3120. And that'll be ready to rock. The next thing is the V490. Now, the problem I've got here is for some unknown reason my... I've said this before, but I'll explain it a bit better. My 300 gig fiber channel drives, this thing does not like. I don't know why. It just does not want to boot. Uh, sorry. Solaris just does not want to see them. Even if I try and label them, I can't. So I've just stuck two 146 gig uh, sun-labeled fiber channel drives in this, which is fine for now. And um, this will become the um, Samba file server. Um, so I'll have this and this for me and I'll have all this for Domain C and I'll get to Domain C later but at the moment I need to get Domain A running for uh, DSCP DNS for here at home uh, also a couple of other things I'm going to do with Domain A so that's where we're at anyway thank you very much for watching quick video for you there please like, comment and subscribe cheers